Hi everybody, this is the first tutorial of our uh, subject analog and digital electronics and it is about the use of LT spice. In this tutorial I will show you how to build up a simple circuit. First of all we start the program and we have this empty space. Now you want, we want to draw a new circuit so we go to the button new schematic on the upper left corner and we push it we push it with the left button we have this gray background where we can draw our circuits first of all as i prefer it i will change the color preference of the of my background of my schematic so i will go to tools color preference and here I have different tabs, waveform, schematics, net list, and net list. In schematics, I will go to the menu, selectable menu, and will choose, I will choose background. And here I will change the color of my background from gray to white, pushing to 255 all the RGB value. Apply. And so we have this. We can also change the color of the cables, wires, and the components. So we do the same process. Wires, and we move this to black. Graphic flag, which are mainly ground, black too. Component fill in, which is this white, yellow here, and this white then let me see if i have something component body black to junction black to apply okay and okay so now we have our like space white space for building up a circuit we can choose from libraries of the com the software with this button, component button. And here we can search for whatever we want. Also, we can choose directly from this button here, ground, label, resistor, capacitor, inductor, and diode. So we will, let's make a simple example in which we made, uh, we make a mesh, with a voltage source and two resistors. I select resistor, I have this component here. I push Ctrl R on my keyboard so I can turn my component. I'll put it like this and left button here. I still have my component selected and I want it. So I push Ctrl R and I have this rotation left button, I have these two components here, and I have this one still selected. So I push the ESC key, and I have my cursor free. Now I want to place a voltage source here, here. So I go to the component button, and I look for voltage. Voltage source, okay. I have it here on my cursor, and I left button here so i place it then the ask button to have my cursor free now i go to the y key i push it to the left button and i connect all my components i push the left button to connect to stop left button to left button left button so on Still, I close the mesh. Ask button again to have the cursor free. And finally, I place a ground here. Left button, push it here. Ask button, wire button, left, left button. That's okay. So now I have my mesh and I have component name V1, R1, R2 and component values, VRR. So I will 
place my cursor over the resistor. When I have the hand there, I push the right button and I have this menu. So I can put here my value, the value of my resistor in ohm. For example, if I want a kilo ohm, it means 1000 ohm, I can put it 1000, or I can also put here 1k. The software will understand k as 1000 factor. And then I push OK. So I have here one kilo ohm resistor. I do the same on this other component. Right button, 1k, OK button. And on my voltage search, the hand shows up, right button, DC value. In this case, I will put just zero volt. OK. And that's it. This is my first schematics. Don't forget to save, file, save as where you want. In my case, it's draft 16, so I push it, I save it here. Next tutorial, we will see how to run a specific simulation on this circuit.